Welcome for this weekly recap of the blockchain news. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on the blogs I teach blockchain development. This week, this is the last day of the Black Friday deal where you are able to access all my courses for $597 instead of $2,000. That's a saving of $1,400 or minus 70%. I put the link down below. Etherstop is downtrend, staying above $4,000. Vitalik released an article to make rollups even more scalable. Ethereum burned 1 million ETH in 3 months. This represents 0.9% of the total supply. This dashboard can tell you how much any address has burned in ETH via transaction fees. MetaMask now supports the hardware wallet Lattice One. Boba Network is a new L2 scaling solution for Ethereum that appeared out of nowhere and that has already reached $1 billion in TVL. It's more than other L2 chains that are already more established like Optimism. Constitution DAO, the DAO that failed to buy a copy of the US Constitution, swapped their tokens against a new one called We the People. Even though the DAO needs to define its new goal, the new token already increased by 200%. A new DAO called Cross House was formed to buy an NBA team. They already raised $1.7 million. Sin City is an upcoming Mafia metaverse that has just raised $8 million. It's backed by high profile investors like Animoca Brands and Justin Kahn, the founder of Twitch. Minda has raised $3.5 million to create a protocol for money streaming on Solana. So let's take a quick pause to thank the Tangle Balls, a community advocacy group for IOTA, the sponsor of this video. IOTA is launching Shimmer, an incentivized staging network with its own native token called SMR. Shimmer will put the whole development of IOTA into overdrive. Everything that runs on Shimmer will also run on the IOTA mainnet. It's a bit like Kusama on Polkadot, but fearless and with a scalable DAG infrastructure. The native token of the Shimmer network will be given for free. It will be the biggest airdrop in crypto history. If Shimmer reaches only 10% of the market cap of IOTA, it will be a $400 million airdrop. To receive some SMR token, first download the Firefly wallet, link in the description, and stake your IOTA tokens. The airdrop will only last for 90 days, so getting now while well, you still can. Anyone is eligible. Every 10 seconds, you'll get one SMR token for every Myota staked. The earlier you stake, the higher your percentage of the initial supply. Market cap of DeFi climb back above $100 billion. Ondo Finance and the stablecoin FE partner to offer liquidity as a service. With liquidity as a service, a project can deposit its token into an Ondo liquidity vault with a flexible duration and FE will match those deposits with an equivalent amount of FE to form a liquidity pair. This allows to get rid of unsustainable liquidity mining programs. Pika Protocol is a new perpetual swap exchange launched on Optimism. You can trade with a 50 time leverage. Panther Protocol, a privacy layer for DeFi, has raised 22 million in a public sale. NFT becomes the word of the year for the Collins Dictionary, which is a reflection of how mainstream NFTs have become. The biggest sale of land occurred in Decentraland with a transaction of $2.42 million. The token of the sandbox, SAN, increased by 82% over the last 7 days. Citibank is going to hire 100 developers for its crypto team. The US Senate Banking Committee requested information from stablecoin issuer. Consensus Academy suddenly banned Iranian students from participating in the bootcamp. El Salvador bought an extra 100 Bitcoin as the market falls. That's it for today. Have a great day.